Looks like about an 18-inch log right there. 18, 20 inches. I do believe it's oak. Just trying to square off four sides, then he can send it through dimensionally square and start taking off one by six, one by eight, one by ten, things of that nature. I notice he's been burning the bark pieces. Cleaning off the bark. He's cleaning off the bark right now where the blade goes. Because I believe the bark makes the blade dull. Has sand and dirt and stuff like that in it. here today just to pick up some material for a headboard that my wife wants me to build that she found online Scrapes a line of bark off before the blade hits it. That's a pretty neat device. I haven't seen that in other sawmill videos.
just a little sawmill in uh, the upstate New York area. I'm gonna actually go and uh, pick up some items that I'm looking for. He has a lot of inventory here spread out over, I don't know, I would guess maybe eight, 10 acres. And um, generally I go get whatever it is I need. Then I come back, he looks in my truck and uh, tells me how much the merchandise is gonna cost. And then we go from there. Um, a lot of the stuff he's had, you can see seasoning for quite some time, drying out. Um, uh, it's all covered. You know, he's got like, I think, uh, some sheet metal on the top up there and, um, and some of the older stuff down at the bottom. You'll find this all over the acreage he has here. And, uh, you know, today I'm here to actually pick up some of the stuff that's been exposed to the weather. Now, even though it may be staying fairly dry, once you get it inside into a climate controlled area, it will still shrink, uh, shrink quite a bit. Um, so if you're doing tables and stuff like that, you really need to have it indoors for at least a year, he told me, for some of the material that's like two and a half inches thick. But I'm looking for the rustic type stuff anyway. So, you know, if it shrinks a little and ends up with some splits and some gaps in it afterwards, I'm fine with that. It just kind of adds to the um, look that we're looking for in this particular uh, headboard project that we're going to be doing. But came here today and he was cutting and I figured I'd uh, just share this with all of you. And a little cold here yet, even though it's middle of March and they burn a lot of their extra miscellaneous cutoffs that really aren't any good to anybody instead of trying to have inventory they burn it and uh, I guess you know, keep warm by this blazing looks like a 500 gallon oil tank an old one double stacks coming out of that bad boy well that's it for today guys I'm gonna get to work there's the beast yeah have a great day y'all